Good afternoon, folks. Simple video here, but important for space weather forecasting, especially right now. We're going to start by going back to May 7th, the day before the Earth-directed X-class flares began. The big southern spot was responsible for the record solar storms, but before that, the big ones top right departing were firing X-class events. Those began just after they were facing the Earth, so they didn't impact our planet. However, these big guys remained active after they turned, producing several CMEs while on the far side, and did so as the southern spots developed quickly and fired those several big blasts at the Earth. These ones departed but also stayed active, and it is the return of both of them that we have been waiting to see. This is where helioseismology comes into play. This graphic is found on the SDO website, and in gray it shows the magnetogram of the Earth-facing half of the Sun, while the yellow shows the helioseismic returns of the far side. It's a rectangular projection with the far right side leading into the left. Just picture this rectangle wrapped around the sphere of the Sun. What we are looking for are the dark patches within the yellow region. These indicate high likelihood of active region sunspots on the side of the sun that we can't see. This is how it looked yesterday afternoon. Big northern spots turning in first, with the big southern spots still a couple days behind. Today we see the return of those big northern spots, and so round two begins for the former X-class flare makers. It'll be about another three days before the southern ones appear as well, and as the helioseismology indicates, they appear to have survived thus far. This is how you can tell if big sunspots are coming before we can even see them at all from the Earth. Could be more flares in the next week. We will be watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.